song comes around like a hula hoop. Karma is a bitch, well, just make sure that bitch is beautiful. Life on the edge. <laughs> yeah, so that is, of course, Wayne, okay? All right, he said, my, he said, um, life is a bitch. Something is still dangling. I tried to pay attention, but a p attention paid me. A hey. okay. Um, then he said, he said, I went shopping. Talk is still cheap. <laughs> Something like that. But karma is a bitch. All right. But just make sure that shit is beautiful. Period. Some of you. Oh my goodness, let me get into it, let me get into it, let me get into it, my bad, let me say my introduction. How y'all doing, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra's Tarot, I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome kings and queens out there. Hey, y'all doing, how y'all doing? <laughs> Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does and what doesn't leave it on out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. All right, let's go ahead and get started up in here today. All right, so here the thing is, oh, num, num, um, bosses don't need to be seen. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. So bosses don't need to be seen here, okay? You don't know what you're doing, y'all. Oh, my goodness, honey, honey, honey. Some of you was like, you on cloud nine, okay? You can't be brought down, all right? That's the type of energy I'm getting. Some of you are, you're, you're surviving so fucking high. I can't even get the words out, boo-boo, because I can feel the energy, honey. Yes, all right? Some of y'all, though, protect yourself, okay? You need to protect yourself because I'm getting, there is so so many motherfucking people, so many people here that is like craving for your energy. Okay, it's got to the you got it to the point where y'all you got people out here mimicking your ass. Okay, and it's not don't even take this you know in no type of way, y'all. Don't even take it in no type of way. Somebody copying you, trying to be like you. It's more of inspiration. Like damn, everybody see you doing it. Everybody want to do that shit too. Okay, you're inspiring people here. It's what I'm getting, but you need to protect your energy because I'm getting there's a whole bunch of motherfucking people here that is craving for your energy, whether that be good or bad. Okay. Y'all, these people are unstable, okay? Unstable, unquenchable. It's like they want some more of you, but once again, bosses don't need to be seen. So some of you, it's like you handling your business, but you're going back to the cribber, okay? You're going back to the trapper, okay? You're going back to the crap, all right? So it's what I'm getting, okay? The place you call home, baby, you ain't even trying to be in the crowd, all right? You ain't out here, you know what I'm saying, chilling out with, you know, Everybody, I should just say, I was gonna say something else, but I ain't gonna say it, okay? But you ain't out here chilling with everybody. So it's like people are like, what is what is the collective doing? What is the collective doing here? Okay, for some of y'all, be careful because I'm definitely getting like these same people. It's new people and it's old people here that wants to come towards you, baby, and like they want to come to some type of compromise, all okay? right? All right, they couldn't defeat you, so now they want to join you. Okay, some of y'all pimp, y'all, 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 y'all peeping the games, y'all peeping that shit, y'all peeping this shit. Okay, we got here intimidated. Some of y'all, these people are intimidated by you. Okay, it's like they have created some type of an obsession with the devil card. This is the truth with the ace of swords. It's like these people are craving your energy, like a, uh, you know, said somebody addicted to some type of drugs or alcohol. It's like you know, these people are craving your ass. Like, oh my god. They, they want to know, like, your life is like a movie. Like, you could be like a celebrity or something. I don't know if I'm talking to a celebrity or whatever. Okay? Or you just came from a small-ass, modern-ass town. And people didn't expect you to come out to be who you are. To transform in a certain type of way. Like, you just look different. Your vibe different. You don't even move the same. People like, what the hell going on with the collective? Okay? But at the same time, they're getting inspired. And other people that you know before, like in your past, past friends, family members, or what have you, these motherfuckers looking at you with a stank-ass face. Okay? That, ugh. You know, they hate it. All right? They shooting, they shooting that evil eye at your ass. Okay? So that's why it's best to clear your energy. You need to meditate or do whatever you need to do to clear your energy. Some of y'all already know how to do that by now. Okay? But you need to keep it up. Okay? On the daily. All right? Because you got people around here that want your energy, baby. They're craving this shit like a drug. Okay? Damn. We got here the strength card. So we got Capricorn. We got Leo so far. Okay? With the strength card. Then we have the four wands. Like, damn. Yeah, some of y'all, it's like people here are jealous. Okay, because they're codependent on other people. They have to settle for relationships that they don't even want to be in or settle with people they don't want to deal with anymore. Okay, but you, on the other hand, you free to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Okay, pure point blank. So you could have a feminine energy here that could be watching you. Oh, my scissors, I set up around here. Open up a package. But, um, 
But there's a feminine energy here, okay? This person here, they look up to you in a certain type of way. I'm getting this is a feminine, okay? I don't know if this is somebody that was once close to you or you grew up with or whatever it may be. Or you know this person for, you know, a long period of time. Whoever this individual is, it's like they... I don't know, this person, I would say this person doesn't have their own identity. They kind of copy off of yours is the energy that I'm getting, whoever this person is. And it's like this person is realizing like, damn, this, they aspire to be you. Okay, but it has grown to be some type of jealousy. What's going on with this? This feminine energy. Yeah, somebody jealous of your strength, your resilience, and some type of offer that you're receiving. Uh, it could be coming from a younger person or this person could be younger than you or what have you. Okay, um... For some of y'all, yeah, somebody jealous of your relationship too. It could be with a uh, Knight of Cups energy. Ooh, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. Damn. Okay, I'm getting a little young buck. Okay. <laughs> um, it's what I see here. Okay. So some of you could be definitely, you know, communicating with somebody, a little, still a little sexy, a little flirtation, you know, going on and everything of that nature. Okay, this person feels like they've been guided to you, whoever this individual is. Okay, this person loves your strength, your courage, and they love your demeanor, the fact that you are a strong-willed woman. If you are a woman, okay, feminine energy, what have you. Okay, um, this person like that. What is this? What is this? Okay. Oh, for a pinnacle. For a pinnacle. So somebody could be holding back now. Oh, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the motherfucking um Empress, the Justice, and the Ooh, Eight of Cups. Damn. The magician. Y'all, I'm telling you, that's why I said in the beginning, it's a lot of people here in your energy. For some of y'all, it has to do with a love interest. Others of y'all, it has to do with like friends, family members, or what have you. But it's like you don't real or do you realize the power that you hold? Because baby damn, okay? Because I'm trying to put this shit into words and I can't, okay? um. So let me break it down. So for some of y'all... Now we're talking about this lover. You could even be living with this person for some of y'all. Not all of y'all, but you could be living with this person. It could be a water sign, okay, a uh, uh, cancer pipes or Scorpio or somebody that's interested into you. Like, you guys, the chemistry is off the chain. It's just very magnetic. But at the same time, this person, it could be, it's not in a jealous way, but it's like they're intimidated. They feel like you're going to go off and be a star. You're not going to need them or something like that, okay, because we have the empress. Like, you could, girl, I'm talking to a, a queen, <laughs> Talking to a queen here. Yeah. All right. Um, this woman, she could have her own business or she could be well endowed. Okay. Like, she carry herself that way too. It's like, she lets it be known. All right. That she who she is. Okay. Whoever this woman is. Okay. But at the same time, she's very nurturing. I don't, I'm not getting an indication of you trying to, you know, have control over this person. Let me tell you this too, because it ain't about control. It's not about control. It's all about you having somebody's back. Because if you got somebody on your fucking back, you would know the difference. Okay? Somebody being on your back just trying to start some shit because they, they being petty or whatever like that. Or somebody that really give a fuck about you. They be like, hey, you know, for so example, if you with your man and your man out there in the streets or whatever like that. And you be like, hey, baby, um, I need you home by 8. I need your ass home by 8 o'clock at p.m., bitch. Okay? And it's like because she's trying to prevent you from going out there doing something that you're not supposed to and then it's dark and then it's not you know what I'm saying you know or you know she's telling you about a certain homeboy or whatever like that a homegirl fuck all that cause you ain't got no homegirl dealing with me it ain't even no insecurity it's just the simple fact that what you need a chick for to be all ticka ticka tight when you got me period okay and I'm a Leo on territory then a motherfucker I ain't, I ain't going for that shit I don't give a fuck what nobody say you feel me but anyway you know what I'm saying I ain't never I ain't dealt with that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I just saying that's just me, okay? I ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all that. Just like a nigga ain't gonna have me had no best friend unless he gay or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because what? It's like even if you're not sleeping with somebody, you're emotionally attached to that motherfucker. You get you know what I'm saying? You it, it get deeper than that. I'm not about to get into all of that. I'm not about to get into all of that. But you are an empress. Somebody has to be able to. 
I won't even say be man enough, but hey, you know what I'm saying? They have to be able to be, more, you know, so secure with themselves in order to be dating this empress, this earth angel, pure point blank. They got to be secure within themselves if you get my drift, okay? Because to know, she don't even, she ain't even the type that's going to go out there and sleep with everybody or take her beauty to her advantage, even though she could because she's a goddess. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It looks, you know, some of, some of us, hey, you know, <laughs> I'll get into some other shit. Let me stop. Let me just give an example. Say, for example, you go somewhere, you go buy an item, you go to the gas, I mean, the gas station get, to go get some gas or whatever like that, right? And a man is offering to pump your gas because there ain't no man around, all right? Some of y'all going to take advantage of that. Go ahead and do what you do or pay, pay for that shit too. <laughs> okay, you know, whatever, whatever. Let's just keep it real, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you, he offered. Okay, he offered, all right? You know, you know maybe hope is in return. He could date you or take you out, whatever like that. But, you know, you know, he offered. Yeah, go ahead and do that. But now, if you want a relationship or whatever like that, this woman understands that. She has respect for herself and she has respect for her man. So, she's going to be like, no, I'm good. I'll go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my first time. And, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But thank you. I appreciate you. Boom. Leave it like that. Okay? But she's an empress. She's a woman. She carries herself a class and dignity. Okay? But this man here, he's going to have to be secure within himself. He might be a young buck. Like I say, he look like he's a younger buck. Okay? Because, um... You know, he kind of feels a certain type of way, but he is, like, he's, a, I would say, he has a lot of confidence within himself, yes, but at the same time, he know what he got, okay? He know what he got. He don't want nobody, he don't want nobody to take that and snatch that on up, okay? 11, 11 on the clock, damn, okay? So, yeah, but he, he is in fear that this woman is, because he know how powerful she is, whether she's with someone or not. She knows she can lead that ass. She'll lead that ass, okay? And he's afraid of her walking away. That's his insecurity, though, is what I'm getting. So he could be trying, I don't know, let's see if he's trying to be funny, funny. Oh, if y'all notice that this masculine is sleeping more, Okay, and staying up at night and sleeping more in the daytime. This is, for example, for some of y'all. It's because he's trying to manifest a ten of cups with you. Okay, he's manifesting some type of a ten of cups, baby. Because he knows that you are the one for him. He wants you back. Oh, uh oh. And I'm just getting, it's like other people here want your energy. This person knows that. All right. And it's just like, they just, they want to be with you. Okay. They trying to do this before they reach some type of a tower moment or something. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. But I don't know if they're doing it. <laughs> Look. So they just need to be secure within themselves. But anyway, we also have here divorced and projected. So there is a couple of people in the background that was trying to project something onto you and your relationship is what I'm getting, all right, for some of y'all because, like, for some of y'all, somebody wanted your person's position, okay, so this could be a masculine. Others of y'all, there was feminine energies that was projecting negativity onto your relationships, okay, because she basically wanted all the attention or she was just mad because like you have everything she feels like you get everything like i said whoever this feminine energy is okay some of y'all y'all dealt with or whatever these yeah this happened in the past okay yeah and other like i said it says rescue others involved there's other people involved in this situation that was trying to keep you stuck but they was trying to show your ass fake love pretending like they fuck with you and they really don't okay is what i'm getting here but you peaked that game you was analyzing these people a mile away okay but some of y'all y'all stayed around just to see this to get clarification this to get confirmation okay into the situation period you had to make sure before you cut a bitch off okay period all right yeah we got here the five of wands. Yeah, there was people out here competing, y'all. Three of cups. This could be your friends or your old circle group or whatever the hell you want to call it, okay? Your little clickety-click, little crew-crew, all right? Um, Yeah, but they realize that you have set off on your, you know, to yourself, did your own thing, and now you becoming a star for some of y'all, okay? And these bitches out here grouping together, trying to create something, and it ain't really going nowhere. So they trying to get you involved because it's like now being around you. At first, they was hating. They didn't want to compete with the woo, the woo. Then you went off to yourself. Now, they want to hang out with the crew. <laughs> they want you to hang out with the crew, okay? Because guess what? They will look like something just being around you. You get what I'm saying? Like, what? 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 Wow. We got here the sun card. Leo energy again. Aquarius energy. Okay. Damn. Some of y'all can have Leo in your chart for real. All right, baby. Oh, you just have that those qualities, that leadership quality. Okay. That go getting that, you know what I'm saying, that fighter. But at the end of the day, you sensitive as fuck. Okay. And you don't play about your feelings. Okay. I got to play out this clip with this dude. I think he was from Bone Thugs and Harmony. And he was like, <laughs> 
you not you just not about to play with me. You just not about to play with me and you know have me deal with something that my energy is not really motherfucking ready for. Okay, period point blank. Okay, I ain't with that shit. You ain't about to sit around here and play with me. Like that shit was fucking hilarious. You gotta hear him say it though. Cause he was so calm and chill with it and you know, pouring a glass of wine and shit. Like the shit was hilarious. But yeah, we got here the not a wine. What's the not a wine? Hmm. What's going on? But like I said before, the boss don't need to be seen. You know, you carry yourself like a boss. You can't be with everybody. Okay? Somebody calling you. Oh, does this benefit me in any way? Okay? Is it putting money in my pocket? Okay? Mm hmm So so what's the point? What's the point of the, the call? Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to share that. Hey, y'all, it's funny as hell because... I literally watched this clip. Like, I be on TikTok, bitch. I'll get that. But I watched this clip of this old lady, right? She was not fucking playing. And this, and I was laughing because this is me in real life. And, you know, people that watch me, I know, you know, people that watch me, whatever. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Feel how you want to feel. Okay? Um, That watch me, shouldn't be watching me, don't really support me. Y'all know who I'm talking about anyway. But, you know, this old lady, right? She was on the phone with one of her girlfriends. She literally opened up her front door. And pushed the fucking doorbell. And was like, uh, hold on, let me call you back. Somebody at my door. Let me see who this is. Let me, like, she literally pushed the doorbell herself. Just get off that fucking phone call. Period, boo. Okay. OG, OG. I'm, I guess I'm an OG then because she I ain't got time for it. Make an excuse. I'll call you back. I don't know. Or won't even pick up the phone and you're blocked. Okay, period. I don't want to hear no drama. Ain't nobody got time for that. You at peace, baby. Look how... You at peace, sweetie. Look at you. Okay? Setting the example, period. We got here six of wands. Come on now. Some of y'all, you are very passionate about something here. Or people are just so passionate about you at this time. Like, I'm telling you, your energy is like a damn drug. And these people can't get enough. It's like anything, any little thing you post. It could be about motherfucking, you post some bread, baking some motherfucking bread, bitch. And they, you know, like, God damn. Calm down. Shit, we got the seven of swords. But here goes the deceptive ass energy. Could be coming from a cancer. What's the seven of swords? We got here the three of pentacles, yep. There's people here grouping together with they stupid asses, always doing what they do. Got to group up together because they can't take down one person. Because, you know, this, this people be tripping me out. We got the two of swords, I mean two of wands. People be tripping me out here. Because it's like they have to group together because they can't take just, you know, down. They can't take you down by themselves. That's what I'm trying to get to. But the thing about it is it's so fucking hilarious. And all you can do is laugh about it. See, the, because at the end of the day, it's kind of like a boost of confidence. Because if one person can't take down one person, then you got to get another person to get on in a smear campaign or whatever like that. And then you got to grab another person because these two people can't fucking take you down. Then you got to, all you know is you got a whole motherfucking circus. You got a whole goddamn football team in this bench. Okay? All right, who going to throw it to who? You feel me? Like, what? And they still can't take little old you down. So that tells you something about your energy, baby. Okay? But you, you're, you are now attracting new people. All right? Is what I'm getting. Like, you are becoming some type of celebrity. I don't know who I'm talking to today, baby. But you carry an energy that is just too great, honey. And it's, it's, it's out of the norm in this, this lifetime, baby. Okay? Pure point blank. You know, you're really, really stunning other people, though, that you knew from the past. Because, it's like, you have did some type of a transformation. 360 in this thing. And they can't even recognize recognize you all right and they try to figure out damn how the fuck is they really doing it okay but at the end of the day they inspired by that shit you feel what i'm saying but you know you gotta watch the spirit of jealousy because the spirit of jealousy is just not you know it's not just a spirit it's a demonic ass spirit okay and one of those spirits that's attached to a jealous spirit is murder okay so you have to be careful because people don't be then you know jealousy is simply oh somebody want what you got but when somebody envious of you or whatever like that they will kill your ass 
Okay, just to get you to fuck off the face of the planet because I can't stand to see you shine. So you have to be careful with who you're around. But you already on that type of level. That's why you are still prospering. That's why you're still here. Okay, because you're listening to your guys and your ancestors, baby. They don't know how your ancestors come behind you, boo-boo, period. Okay, but I'm definitely getting some of you are free right now. I'm seeing the energy has totally changed. It is not the fucking same for some of y'all. It's like you're living in a whole nother fucking world. All right, pure point blank. Period, baby. I'm getting some of you, it's like to the point where you are definitely, like this here, you have defeated Earth. You have defeated Earth, I should say. Okay, because Earth is nothing but a lesson. Okay, Earth is really hell. This is the lowest dimension that we have, the lowest frequency, the lowest dimension, whatever you want to call it. Because it's so fucking low vibrational. All right? And it's like you have already ascended. People are realizing, they're coming to the realization, baby. They're They're coming. To the realization that you are an ascended one. You are an ascended master. You came here to do one thing and one thing only, baby. And that was to lift the vibration of the planet. And that's just period. And everything else comes along with it. You feel me? Okay? And these people are stunned. They're, they're flabbergasted. Okay, up in this thing. They're flabbergasted. Because they realize, too, that everything comes to an end. You can only do something for so fucking long, bitch, before your shit comes down and crumble. Especially when you evil, okay? You have evil intent towards someone, all right? All right? People could try not to believe all they want to. Y'all see what happened in Africa? When that motherfucker went through that warm hole in the sky? He looked like he was in the, he, he went to the sun. Or what else should I say? The fucking Anaku, okay? The motherfucking Nibiru. I don't know. Shit. But my was in the motherland. They they coming out. They showing us what the fuck is up. And you can try to deny it all you want to. Ooh, okay. Shoot, you can try to deny it all you want to. You better wake the fuck up and see what's really going on. Okay. But you got these other people here feeling some type of way, y'all. They feel like you you an alien, bitch. You pouring this butt. Okay. People can even be saying, oh, you know, T, uh, you know, you know, I'm. <laughs> Okay, I'm not about to go there anyway. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Anyway, but people looking at you like an alien. They're looking at you like an alien. You're foreign. Some people could say you, your ass got cloned ever since that movie came out where they cloned Tyrone. Some of them, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. But, um, you know, they're trying to say that though. You, 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 you. How can I say this? Man, you so fucking protected, y'all. Not even the government is fucking with you. Because once again, bosses does not need to be seen, okay? Bosses don't need to be out there in the streets or whatever like that. They know how to maintain their, you know, their energy to stay on the higher vibration. They don't entertain bullshit, all right? Like, you you one of a fucking kind, man. And there's not, there's not a lot of people like you, okay? And that's why some, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, y'all. Y'all got to pay attention because even with... The signs are everywhere, first of all. The signs are everywhere. And, you know, even like Beyonce, what she named her world tour? The the last something, the last something, the end or whatever like that. People know this is the last days, of, but really the last days of the wicked. Okay? Okay? It's, it's time for y'all to be, y'all, my son had a dream. I'm not even going to go there. Shit. But anyway, um, because I protect mine. Bitch, I wish you would, ho. Okay? Because when it comes to my kids, bitch, you can die for all I give a fuck. But anyway... Uh, and I'm not trying to be harsh or whatever like that, but I don't play about mine, my seed. But anyway, um, well, get ready. To <laughs> anyway, my son, he had a dream, y'all. And he said he saw Buddha. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I need a dream interpreter. Somebody need to tell me some. But it's more details than just saying that. I'm not going to reveal it all. But, oh, my God, his dreams be just so wild and so true, be crazy. But he was just showing me, you know, say he, he was just, show, he was telling me what he seen in his dream. But it was just a simple, it was a symbol of peace. I, I can't explain it, but baby, yes, honey. Yeah, so some of y'all pay attention to your dreams, too, in the month of September. Write that shit the fuck down, okay? Because it's going to literally show you what's coming ahead, okay? It's all going to make sense one day or whatever like that. It's going to give you a message. So it could be from your higher self. See, your ass out here, asshole traveling and going, you know, different other places and dimensions and shit, and you coming back giving your, your, your earthly body, your vessel here, you know, information. So you need to be aware, okay, baby? You need to be aware. All right, when you wake up, you better, shit, some of y'all, if you wake up and you remember your dream, that's a motherfucking message. 
if you wake up and you don't remember your dream, I don't know what the hell. It's just some other type of shit. But you know, it's basically they said it's not that serious. Woo woo woo. But if you wake up, remember your damn dreams, baby. Write that shit down, okay? Write that shit down. But people are looking at your ass like an alien. All right, these people are mad because they're trapped. Okay, maybe through a pregnancy, maybe somebody they got to sit down or you know what I'm saying like some you got even people out here pregnant. That's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was free like them. But, honey, uh, pregnancy is a blessing. Period, point blank. Some of y'all could be pregnant. Okay, I don't know. And some people just still saying you out here doing the damn thing. How was she able to keep her body maintained? What is she doing to keep her skin glowing? Okay, or whatever like that. A little whatever, whatever. These people out here are sad. Feeling heartbroken. Feeling alone. Because they don't have that life force. You. Okay, because that love that you showed and you gave. Okay, that unconditional love. Okay, that you gave when you was around them at one particular time, a point, whatever. Okay, it's not there anymore because you have to remove yourself from these people. They cannot come with your ass. And there's some people that's not getting a clue. They're not getting a hint. All right? And it's just like you're trying to brush them off. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool or whatever like that. But they're not getting a hint. But some of y'all, you just don't want to be bothered. Okay, you already know what these people are about. All right, you already know what they're coming with. So you don't want to be bothered. You want to stay to yourself. Once again, you don't need validation. You don't need people out here to give you, oh, you're beautiful. Or you this, you this, and you that. Because you feel like that already within yourself. Okay, you know you fine and shit. You know you fine. Okay, I don't get for what you look like. You know you fine. Okay? And it's not just your physical appearance. Okay, it's your soul. It's your heart. And you can't just give that up to everybody. Okay, but for some of y'all, just beware because you got some people here in denial, though. They taking a pause looking at you like, what? Nah, that ain't that ain't the collective, is it? Nah, hell no. Nah. Damn, that is. Damn, that, nah, nah, nah. What? I can't believe it. Oh, hell no. Nah. I used to know that person or did it, you know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck up out of here. Some of y'all could be moving. You can be uh, re relocating. Look, I can't even stop. Bitch, you a lot. Okay. Yeah. These people realizing that they don't have a grip on you anymore. They can't control you. They can't. You know what I'm saying? They used to can control you through manipulation, but you became. Ooh, I ain't gonna say you became the manipulator, but you just mastered yourself. Because you done dealt with so many motherfucking manipulators and, you know, narcissistic ass people in your life to the point where you have mastered Okay, I wouldn't even say manipulation, but you just can you can pinpoint that shit. You can call that shit out. And, and on top of that, like some of y'all, you got people, people, because you keep it real. Okay, everybody want to worship people that's fake as fuck. Fake is the new real out here in these streets. But when you come along and you spit them true facts or whatever like that, it's like people hold a grudge. But really, in actuality, you was there to give the person a message. Okay, you get my drift. You was there to get that person to message, just keep it real with them. Because maybe they're around unneighborlers. Maybe they're around fake-ass motherfuckers. But when you come in the scene and you tell somebody the real, okay, whether it be about themselves or about the world or whatever it may be. Okay, some of you don't even like small talk. Because motherfuckers, they don't understand. You feel what I'm saying? And you ain't got time to be sitting around here. They just going to be sleep. They just going to be, that's what it is. It is what it is. You can't help people like that. All right? Now, motherfuckers want to listen and hear your advice or whatever like that. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But other than that. Hey, you just chilling. You chilling. Bitch, you on cloud nine. All right? They can't take your ass the fuck down, baby. I like the energy that you're in, honey, because you don't give a goddamn. Okay? You don't care about nothing that's going around <laughs> that's negative. Shit. What am I? What am I did? I wanted to give y'all something else, but I don't see my other dick. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got this King of Cups popping out. You could have dealt with this person in your past. This person is in love with you. But we got here a tower moment. There might be something unexpected happening between the two of y'all. Okay. All right. Somebody could be confused. What's this? What's this? So sick of this shit here. So, okay, since it's popping up, then hey, I'm gonna just have to out you, sir. I'm gonna just have to out your raggedy ass before I end this video. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, uh, <laughs> if you're dealing with one of them signs, an air sign here or Virgo, this motherfucker is doing like lighting a red candle on you and your relationship to keep you guys confused thinking you guys are cheating on each other or you know doing some other wild crazy ass shit behind each other back 
that has to do with a air sign. This person is trying to keep this hidden. But some of you, you already know that shit. You already know you got a fucking buckle boo obsessed bum ass, okay, little mm -mm type of motherfucker that's on your ass, okay? Because they can't believe it either. They cannot believe it, who you are. So it's like they're trying to mess up your love life. Why are everybody fucking with your love life? Okay, they don't want you to have love. What the fuck is up? Because they knew they couldn't give it to you. Okay? Ah! But you stronger than that strength card, honey. You stronger than that shit. Fuck this motherfucker. Because what's meant for you is meant for you. So what's going to happen between the collective and the king of cups? Don't have to be a camp by Scorpio. This is somebody that just simply love your ass. Okay? What's going on with this king of cups? Ugh. Four wands. And the sun. Come on now, baby. Y'all about to be happy as fuck. Fuck this motherfucker. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Ooh. We got the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Y'all going to continue to invest into each other. Some of you, you might have your guard up a little bit. You might have your guard up a little bit. I'm going to keep it real with you. You might be like, oh, I don't want to leave me alone. I don't want to be bothering me. You might be in that energy. Okay, but at the end of the day, I still see you giving it up. I ain't mean it like that. You know what I'm saying? But you say shit. Some of y'all might, you know what I'm saying? But you know, whatever. You know? Sure. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here, Four of Swords. Somebody's trying to keep somebody quiet. All right, well, you could just simply be reflecting on something. Okay, but you're going to get just, I'm telling you, somebody fucking with your energy. And this is somebody here, an ex here that's atta attached to you. We got Libra Energy, Justice card. Okay, this person keeps trying to do some type of confusion spell towards a relationship, baby. But at the end of the day, we got Taurus right here. But at the end of the day, God is interfering in the situation. This person is going to receive some type of a karma, baby. Period, point blank. All right, you guys will be coming back together. We'll be rekindling your relationship. Period. Let me get a spiritual up. Y'all don't mind my goddamn arm. Shit, I'm beautiful as fuck, bitch. Shit, I lost the weight. I had to, I got to toe my arm. Shit, fuck out. <laughs> Period, poo, cute. I know. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Shit. Cute. Poo, pow, pow. Okay, just how it is, baby. Period. Because people don't know how hard you be working on yourself. Shit. But, you know, there are haters that watch me. So, baby, you know, people be trying to use, say, for example, you have an insecurity or whatever like that. All right? People trying to use your insecurity against you. But, baby, I used it for my good. All right? I look at it as in I done lost goddamn over 30 pounds. So, I'm feeling like, woo, 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 bitch. You can't tell me shit. All right? I love myself. Love yourself. Okay? But, anyway, let's go ahead and... <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly shit. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. Car <laughs> Karma is a bitch, but make sure that bitch is beautiful. Period. Okay. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Period. It says be the person you needed when you were a kid. <laughs> Did you need someone who protected you? Did you need unconditional love? Did you need more attention? Did you need praise? Did you need to know someone had your back? You a big kid now, and you can do that for that little peep squeak still living inside of your little ribcage, honey, period. Exactly what I was just saying, baby. Some of you, you know what I'm saying? You had to love yourself. That's why you have so much confidence, because ain't nobody gonna do it but you. Okay, you can't sit around expecting nobody else to do shit for you, baby, period. All right? All right, so you have to love yourself, pure point blank. They can't, they need to love them themselves. That's why they're taking notes, though, but, you know, whatever. All right, we have here, holding on to resentments is like taking a shit in your own heart. Damn, okay, let's see what the, it says, yes, it's that gross and pointless. Oh, they be just, they get on my nerve. These cars be, anyway, um. Anyway, because you see, I try to be like, uh, 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 right? And then it says, yes, it's that gross and pointless. <laughs> they be checking my ass through the cards. But anyway, it says, let that shit go. Look up a loving kindness meditation on the internet and do it. Focus on love, okay? Love is like taking a baby wipe on your heart, baby, period. All right, some of you are just like, you have to just heal some childhood traumas and shit that people try to put you through. And now that you're standing in your own power, it's just like, damn, who the fuck are you? Okay? type of energy all right but let them keep looking all right that's what you're here for to be an example but guess what at the end of the day bosses don't need to be seen period let me i want i gotta i gotta read this card okay it says what's the best that could happen 
You're probably super good at thinking up the worst case scenario, right? But you can project all your fears onto the big screen and play them out in vivid color. You can actually feel the anger of the confrontation you haven't confronted. Ooh, that's like sitting around there saying that, man, I wish I would have cussed that bitch out or would have said this when I had the chance or whatever like that, right? But the loss of the job you haven't been hired from, you haven't been fired from. The death of the star you haven't dared to shoot for. Mm. Try putting those superpowers to work in the opposite direction. Imagine how you could be surprised and delighted in those same scenarios. Daydream instead of worry. Exactly. People don't realize that. All right. Say hey to that cool ass shit. Period. But like, didn't I just say that? You all in your own motherfucking world. You in cloud nine. You ain't even worried about this low vibrational ass shit on this 3d realm period okay because so keep doing you boo boo all right because your damn show got i'm looking at you okay i love ya. okay but that's how god intended it to be you are an example to this world you're an ascended master baby they gonna and they can't do nothing but respect that okay i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next one oh yeah i'm so silly <laughs> that's that leo in me but i love y'all see you next time